something that I find very important is time management. Always making a list of things you have to do. One of the things I have to do today is to get the gear out of my garage. Well, actually, into the house from the garage. And you're gonna be a witness on how I set it up. But this guy needs to eat before working on anything. Oh, wow, that's right. This is called lomo saltado, or in English, lomo saltado. Here's a beef stir fry, and it came with a bun, so I can make a sandwich. Salsa acevichada, and a salsita. Okay, this is really good. So yeah, I changed my shirt, did you notice? I got some of my basic setup right here on the floor. I don't really need the PA, but I will show you my loop station and all the connections. So here's the pedal board. The next thing I set up is my microphone stand. I've been using this Hercules microphone stand for quite a while. Very easy to set up. A stand for both my guitar and the ukulele bass. This is a bag where I have all the cables. Just a suitcase that I found at Ross. I have a Foreman power uh, conditioner. Sometimes when the power is bad at a venue, this should kind of take care of it. Now this is a percussion tray that goes on your microphone stand. Then I take the loop station out of the bag and put it right here. All right, so let me see if I can tell you my connections in the briefest, fastest way possible. I have a special guitar, an acoustic electric synthesizer Canadian nylon string guitar that connects to a synthesizer by my feet with a special connection. From there, there's a guitar out that goes into an AB switch where I also plug in a ukulele bass. From the AB switch, I go to a tone enhancer body res by TC Electronics and from there back into the synthesizer input in the back. From the synthesizer, there's a stereo out, which I take into a reverb, Hall of Fame by TC Electronic. And then from there, I go stereo out into the auxiliary in the back of the loop station. Although if I'm gonna set up uh, at a live gig, then I don't need to go stereo and I'll probably just connect a mono quarter inch cord right into the back of the loop station. On top of my pedal board, there's a snake with some essential cords, for example, the quarter inch cord that I was talking about. Also the dual foot switch FS6 by Boss, so I can control my loop station with my feet. That one also plugs in the back. Headphones and also the out of my loop station goes in stereo, plug into the H6 by Zoom. A couple of XLR cords that come in that snake. One of them plug into my microphone, but it doesn't plug into the loop station directly. It actually goes back down the snake into a vocal performer VE20 by Boss. From there, I go into a hat shot by Radial. It's a XLR AB switch. Output A goes directly into the mixer, or in this case, the recorder, and output B goes back into the loop station. That way, when I wanna loop the guitar and I wanna continue singing, I can click the AB switch and my voice doesn't get recorded in the loop station. It goes directly to the mixer, or in this case, the recorder. That's pretty much my connections. Let me give you a little sample on what you can achieve with a setup like mine. First, I'm gonna set up my tempo by double tapping, record my shakers. Claps. Downbeat. The bass. I can 
could also record my voice if I want to, like this. With an effect, probably. Voy a mirarte cuando rías, voy a hacerte melodías Y cuando estés desesperada, me voy a atar a tu mirada Escucharé lo que me digas, mientras te vaya siendo mía Voy a saciarte de mis besos, y a liberar tus labios presos Anyways, just a little sample on things you can do with a loop station. I'm deleting everything quickly. It's a fun setup and there'll be more videos on how I loop. I hope you enjoyed guys. I will see you in the next video. Have a great, awesome day. Life, year, Christmas. Bye.